channel. Guys! So, I have returned, yes. I think that some people have really enjoyed my TikTok video. I wanted to go and explore the next thing, because you know I did say if people did enjoy that thing that I'm actually gonna do like this e-girl thing and we're doing this e-girl thing. <laughs> so I have always been curious about the different makeup trends that have been erupting out of TikTok. Soft girls has always been, been one of them. But now the other side was the e-girls. And for me I thought e-girls were like emo girls, like you know back in, back in my day. I thought they were like emo girls with all black and death. I don't know anything about emo girls, so please emo girls don't come at me. Emo society, please don't come at me. I have no knowledge or understanding of it. As you can see, I I am I'm a soft girl for life. I wanted to explore further into this e-girl trend because it's not actually emo, but it's like I don't know. We'll get into it. So in this edition of what the hell are we doing in our houses, seekers, we're supposed to stay at home. I hope you I hope you're staying at home. We're gonna be exploring black girl, e-girl makeup. Let's go! If you're wondering why I'm looking like a very busted African child, it's because, yes, the village raised me. It's because I twisted up my hair, I took down my hair, I was sick and tired, I was sick and tired of wearing these wigs. So, yeah, I basically am going to do a whole natural look, because most of these looks that I've seen on, like, what did I want to say again? Most of the looks that I see on, like, Google when I look up e-girl makeup or what an e-girl is, it's like, a lot of them tend to be Caucasian. I'm not gonna say that there are no black e-girls. Like, I'm not on TikTok, and I'm trying not to get onto TikTok because I have an obsessive, like, addictive personality when it comes to social media, and I'm already, like, stuck on myself, on weeding myself off, like, Instagram, myself watching Instagram for three hours in the morning. So, I am not gonna say that there aren't black e-girls. I mean, Miss Doja Cat herself exists. So basically I wanted to do it a natural style and my take on it because their style is mostly mostly like their hair is down and they have pigtails. Now if you understand how black people hair works, we our hair defies gravity. So my afro does not lay down, sweetie. There's no poof poof, like one poof here and then the hair is gonna fall. No no no, it's poof altogether. So we're gonna we're gonna take a we're gonna do a take on that. So ultimately I wanted to find out what an e-girl is and why they're called e-girls. I went on a nice little BuzzFeed page. Thank you, BuzzFeed. Apparently, e-girls culture or the subculture kind of is not new. It has been here for a very long time, but it used to have a very different meaning. So at the beginning, e-girls technically had a very derogatory term towards it, which was kind of shaming girls online who apparently went online to get gamer boys. And they tend to watch like, they liked watching anime stand-up weebs and they also liked listening to a lot of sad songs it was kind of like a shift in that where girls technically reclaimed this title that kind of like looked down on them and used it to like lift themselves up which is really kind of great like I I, I really I, I'm that's my message overall I love I love that we take things when we say you know forget you and what you want to say about us when I looked up e-girl makeup basically the most iconic part of the look is thick eyeliner with wings cute little shapes drawn under the eyeliner what sorry apparently I can't read English cute little shapes drawn with the same eyeliner under the eyes using the shape of hearts but sometimes they're dots or X's across the cheeks and nose is a bright sweep of blush with a touch of highlighter for just the button end and usually sitting above a septum ring. So I don't have septum piercings, unfortunately, so we're gonna skip over that. The lips are usually either a gloss or a dark matte lipstick. So yeah, we will get into this. So apparently e-girls tend to wear black. We're gonna change into our clothes because this clearly is not an e-girl outfit. So change the outfit, put on, it's like this shirt and then this mesh top because I don't have a striped long sleeves top. Listen, I'm a broke student first of all and all those cute things cost money and then I popped in my contacts as you know <laughs> a line bat central a right so when I looked up like this whole concept of e-girls their skin is basically flawless so what I did is that I basically went around my face with this true match concealer and I did it under eye and around my mouth I'm not doing a full face because I'm stuck at home. Where am I going with a full face of makeup, girl? Bye. We're gonna cheat the system as much as we can. I luckily have fairly like even toned skin, so I could hide that with just a skin-like concealer, which is great because I love this stick and it's oh, L'Oreal. You always do me right. 
I'm gonna go in with my infallible more than concealer stick from L'Oreal as well in the con in the color honey so I can just highlight under my eye. Prep our lids as always with a very small amount of concealer. And take a brush and buff it out. Ah uh, yes, I can feel the e-girlness. <laughs> But anyways, then this is what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna set my base with this powder from Bare Minerals. The way she don't go nowhere. Here's some more. Same sponge, I'm gonna dip it in and then dust off any excess so I don't look cakey. And just pat it under eye. Now that the base is complete, we're gonna do the eyes next. So, what I, what I judge from like e-girl makeup and technically what I have seen on my handy dandy cellular device is that their makeup tends to be monochromatic makeup. Like, it's not really different colors or whatever. Like, you, it's like a, a very similar color palette. So if you're gonna take a pink, then you're gonna take like a pink and then a darker shade of pink to like give a smoky look. If you're gonna take like a red. It's not saying that all e-girls tend to look like this. It is very diverse. But I'm seeing a commonality that it's a lot of like reds and oranges with smoked out like dark browns and uh, sometimes black. Yeah, it's a very cutie look. Sometimes I don't even wear really much, really much. I don't really wear much eyeshadow. They just have that bold eyeliner wing going on. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go into the whole hot dog palette for iHeart Revolution, which is like my absolute fave right now. And we're going to do a reddish brown look to make it pop a little bit more i'm gonna take this base from morphe and i'm going to pat it onto my eyelids now that i've packed the base on i'm going to go in and use this color called a foot long i said it before i think i already have like my favorites in this palette which is kind of great and dust it as a base now the base is on i'm going to go in i'm going to go into this color called ketchup because it's a nice ready like goes well with this brown that is this foot long color and I'm gonna pack it in to give it some more depth and color I feel like you're not, you guys aren't close enough to see the makeup so I'm just gonna zoom you in so there we go because I feel like you guys are so far away like Alexa play so far away by BTS is it so far away? is it? I'm gonna get flamed if it's not because I'm army and I don't even know what the heck I'm talking about is it ready enough? I don't know what do you think? I feel like it's okay. I feel like it's okay. So, I'm gonna go into this compact brush and I'm gonna go into this color called Grill. I don't know if you guys can see it. It like, should be somewhere here. It's like a nice dark color. That way I can... And I'm gonna use it very gently. That way I don't, you know, mess up the colors I already have. I just wanna give it some smokiness on the outer corners. I think that's fine for now. <laughs> I'm gonna take a thinner brush and then I'm gonna go back in with, uh, with a foot long underneath my eyelid. Underneath my eyelid. <gasps> that would be so painful. Imagine you stuck like shadow underneath your eyelid. Oh my days. I meant is I'm gonna go into my lower lid and then dust on a foot long. <laughs> I try not to make faces on the camera. Like the thing is when you're putting on makeup you're like. But then, I, then you remember that you're actually on camera and then you're trying to like keep a very straight face like those professional beauty gurus. Wow, girl, it's not, it's not easy. I've had to catch my mouth like several times in this video. Going back into the same blending brush that had ketchup on it and going under my eye. So I'm going to take a thin brush and I'm going to go into the glitter in the inner corner of my eye just to brighten my eye. I'm not going to put any like glitter on my lip. I'm going to keep it as matte as possible. And now the highlight of everything, which is e-girls, is... The Wicked Wing. Wings usually with e-girls is wings with e-girls are technically like thick and they start from like end to end. Whereas I usually stop my wing like in the middle of my eye. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do one eye. <sighs> did I do it? Did I? Is this is this thick enough? I feel like it's thick enough. No, I think I did it. Like, I think this is okay. Wow, my eye actually looks great. <laughs> First of all, I'm gonna do the other eye of camera. And then I'm going to go and do the lashes because they have really fluffy lashes in their looks. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I look like a cat. Like I could be in, ooh, guys, I'm that cat from Sailor Moon. Oh my days, that cat is so pretty. Oh my word, oh my word. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I look cute, guys, like. I 
Yes. We're going to do the blush. The second feature of e-girlism. I, I just made it sound like it was a religion. Like, please. What? The main thing about e-girls is also the blush. Like, any trend off of TikTok, you have to be disgusting with your blush. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to go in and use my NARS blush. And it says that you should be gross with it. Like, even more gross than I was with my, like, soft girl glam, soft glam video that I did. Link is going to be in the bio. They say, like on the tops of your cheeks on your nose and some of them even go up to your eyes so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go straight up into my eye area when doja cat did hers like hers was like she said you have to look like you're sick like you're recovering from the flu <laughs> oh my nose looks like rudolph the red nose reindeer oh my word but they said a disgusting amount of blush so i don't know how it's pulling on camera like i feel like in real life i put on a lot of blush usually when i want a flush drunk look i want to look like i'm i i naturally turn this color not that i just slapped on a bunch of blush and looked like i had no sense but you know we're doing this as the e-girls would do it so let's get let's get it together sis he said put a smattering of highlighter on so that way you're all dewy and apparently on the button of your nose i didn't know this point of your nose was called a, but a button so that's news to me. Can my hair like not get into my face? Thank you, Afro. That's great. So yes, this is the look so far. Let us zoom us on out. So yes. Now it says that your lip has to be either a clear gloss or a matte darker finish. I personally do not like glosses. That sticky feeling, not for me. I do know this is like a very pinky color when everything else is like warm but i couldn't find a darker shade i don't have dark shades okay so i just choose this like mulberry wine darkish staining color for this matte color so now that the makeup is done i'm gonna set it with some setting spray and the last important piece as an e-girl is the hearts under the eyes for any apparently you take your liquid liner and then you just draw hearts under your lids and do your lids again. Oh my word. I'm so nervous because I feel like I'm going to mess up. I feel like this heart is too big. Yeah, it's too big. I have to do it again. I did it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like, can you see? Can you see? Like, I... It took me... Like, I had to redo... I had to wipe off this part because it was so big. And then had to re, like, put my base on and put back blush. Like, it was crazy. But, like, I did it. I did it, guys. <laughs> Woo! So, now that the makeup's done, your look is complete. So this is your finished look. I like how my twist out came out guys this is actually amazing like i'm stupefied because i haven't seen i haven't actually seen my natural hair out in like two and a half months because i've just been wearing wigs um as a, as, as a personal <laughs> personal personal choice i will address that in another video because people have always asked me why the hell i keep on wearing wigs and i'll, I'll talk about it and yeah so it's worked out i look so cute Oh my word, I look so cute. This hair plus the earrings and the makeup is so pretty. This like flushed, like at first it like looked really bright, but I feel like this, um, this blusher actually tends to like tone down as like time goes on. So it's not that in your face, but it's kind of cute. I love this heart under the eyes. It's cute. The hearts under the eyes is actually very adorable. So I'm actually enjoying this. This is an e-girl success. I think I could be an e-girl guys. I think I feel like I could be an e-girl I could I could like this black on black on well black is just it's working for me <laughs> but yeah that is all for me I hope you enjoyed this video guys I hope you love this look if you have any other TikTok makeup trends that you want me to do then please do let me know in the comments down below like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell down below so my back baby can forever grow i love you guys so so much i'll see you in the next video this beautiful this rose is out